Another unique thing about Kent's church is the dais, where at the front of the church, that's where Kent's recording studio is. So everybody in the audience is seeing essentially where he's live streaming. He's got this little setup, this little cubicle with a desk and all these uh, books and shelves behind him with, uh, let's just say, a bunch of really bizarre and interesting things for a church to have including just a really creepy baby mask for creationist cry baby. Let's just teach science in science class and leave the evolution religion out. It's got nothing to do with it. So I'm not hostile towards science. Okay. Can't, did a dinosaur that fossilized have parents? Yes, obviously. So those parents had children as well as brothers, sisters, and cousins and a part of the population. Well, now, cry, cry baby, uh, I would agree we think we could logically conclude when you find a fossil that it had parents. You missed what I said. I look, read my lips here. You cannot prove they had children. So that's different than having parents. Maybe you don't know how it all works, but see, parents produce children. Okay. You don't know that that fossil had children. You've never heard me say you can't prove that fossil had parents. <sighs> I don't know how low the IQ scale goes, but don't fall off the bottom, okay? Let's see. C C Crybaby. Crybaby's got like five different channels, doesn't he? Or names he comes up under? Yes. Yeah. Big Bad Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. He's, he's not one of those, is he? Crybaby. I don't know. Can't you categorically dismiss the fossil record? I, I, there is no fossil record. There's a bunch of fossils. I don't categorically dismiss it. I believe there are fossils, trillions of them. I believe they show rapid burial like Noah's flood would do. I believe the flood of Noah created nearly all the fossils in the world. I believe there's fossils. I don't believe it's a record. I don't believe there are different ages. Okay. You dismiss the geologic column. That's correct. You guys just quit playing around. Answer the question, crybaby. If the top layer is younger, where did it come from? How can the top layer be younger? If I shake these uh, sand art toys up, let's see, I got a couple of them here. There you go. When I flip this over and it makes 20 or 30 layers in here, are the layers young? Are they different ages? All the layers are the same age. They're all in the glass at the same time. If I shuffle a deck of cards, is the top card younger? No. Moving dirt from one place to another does not change the age of it. There is no geologic column. It's dumb. Doesn't exist. It was made up in 1830. Only place you'll ever find it's in the textbook. Okay. Radiometric dating? No, I understand how it works. And I, I show the clear assumptions involved in it. Completely categorically dismiss it? No. Okay. And how they cross cooperate one another? Well, n n the, all three of them have serious problems. So there's no co cooperation involved here. You do this in favor of a simple biblical genealogy without evidence. I've been covering on Friday night, I'll do some more tomorrow night, scientific evidence that the earth is not billions of years old. The Bible says it's about 6,000. I think the scientific evidence also would lean that way. And the Bible says there was a flood 4,400 years ago. I think the scientific evidence would say, hey, that's probably correct. So I do believe in the biblical genealogy found in Genesis 5 before the flood and Genesis 11 after the flood. I believe that's true and correct and accurate. And that's what I teach. Okay. Sea science. He has good reason to dismiss the claims and understands why they do not cooperate as you claim. Good. Okay. Call him for a debate, man. Yeah. I'm not sure you should use the word man, whatever it is. I'll, I'll debate you, whichever your preferred pronoun is. Okay. All right, baby. You don't give up, do you? Yet. Okay. Would it be important to study fossils and stratigraphy from a global flood to determine what happened in what parts of the earth at any given location? Flood-based flood -based geologic column? Well, yeah. If you watch the video experiments in stratification, where they did with the flume, the sideways moving water, how it has to go over contours and stuff. If you get a flume with uh, where you can see the water uh, flowing and drops different color densities of sand in there like this is, as it flows, it'll form layers. But if it hits obstacles, drop a rock in there, it has to go around the obstacle. You can, there's a lot to learn just from watching sideways moving water. And during the flood of Noah, the tide, being uninterrupted with no continent sticking up, could become harmonic and go up and down 200 feet, called tidal pumping. If the water comes up 200 feet and then goes down 200 feet, six hours, 12 and a half minutes later, that 
the water has to come sideways to fill that big bump as it comes up and down. Pulls it in, sucks it in, squishes it out, sucks it in. It's us turning under the moon, okay? But the effect for the people on Earth goes, it's up and down, sideways movement formed all the layers. And there'd be all sorts of crazy things happen depending upon the topography of the world. And if the plates of the Earth are shifting around and moving because the Earth was busted up like an eggshell, and still is, by the way, the fault lines, most have kind of, I hit these word healed, they've sealed themselves up and they don't move much, stationary uh, faults. But there are fault lines all over. Some, some are slip faults and some are strike faults. And you can study, not, not my fault, but you can study all that Earth science. So I think at the time of the flood, it would have been much worse before these plates kind of settled in where they go. So the crust of the Earth would be constantly changing with the moon's tide exaggerating even that. So I think all the layers of the Earth, even the cockeyed ones, are best explained by Noah's flood. But the scoffers are ignorant of that flood. Willingly ignorant, Second Peter chapter 3. Hate Hoven Livestream, Atheist Jr. His whole channel, he's got 300 videos, almost all of them about me. He hates me and he hates Christianity because he hates the Lord. Claims to be an atheist. There's no such thing as an atheist. Like that one guy said, are you an atheist? He said, yeah. He said, have you studied all the religions and all the gods out there? Well, no. Well, then you're not an atheist, you're an idiot. You've rejected something you don't even know. <laughs> Atheist, here we go. Atheist Jr., hate, heated debate. Uh, have you debated this man? You might be entitled to compensation. Hate Hoven, hate Hoven, hate, hate Hoven's bitter and un unhinged rant about me. 300 videos, and you would easily say 250 are about me. Easily, okay. Look at his channel, okay. Now, pray for AJ. I just heard that his car insurance was canceled. Contact D Joseph, our tech guy. He will explain why. I can't say it on the air. Can I? Well, huh? Oh, well, it's so tempting, brother. Don't do it. Okay. Call Joseph. He'll tell you why. Is in AJ, you call Joseph. Say, why was my insurance canceled? My hate Hoven video. Oh, wow. Got 200 views. Why do you hate Hoven? Ken Hoven finally figures it out. Big Bad Mama and Creationist Crybaby are one. And I'll debate both of you at the same time. Okay. Ken Hoven's an official scumbag. Oh, creep, creepy blind man. 